Hey, welcome back. Let's continue our journey as we terraform this new planet. Right, so I've done some things off screen. I replaced uh, the four simple living compartments with one big living compartment here and upstairs. As of course, it's now one seamless spacious room as opposed to having these um, breaks in between. And also I sorted out the storage and filled it up with some more resources. Uh, particularly the iron, which I'm gonna need to complete some things uh, right now. First, let's drink some water. In order not to die and perhaps eat. Mm, this is quite... Mm, I'm using up food more than I'm producing. I might as well create some more food growers. And we have just enough stuff to do, so I'll create two more of those. Let's take the seeds as well. Perhaps like this. And we can now complete some of these. The rooms, let's say, let's place some glass here. Also on the other side. Um, perhaps even place some doors. as well as on the other side. So it's now one closed off storage. We can also do some stuff up there. Let's see, we'll need few. Oh, I'll take all the iron. Perhaps some more cobalt, some more silicon, some more titanium. It's not as rare as it used to be anymore. We've got lots of that. Mm, or I was really, really looking forward to having compartment wall. I would have liked to have doors this side on the upper floor you'll see why later for now it can remain as such and we can even expand this a bit further but it can only be done properly from the outside come on Like that, now one basic corridor, another basic corridor. And we'll leave it like that for now. Now let's place a window. And another one. Right, we'll also place... Yeah, we do not have enough iron, but let's check out what our machine is doing. I also want to say that I've been emptying 
few rounds of these machines while I was re redoing the stuff inside. So, um, uraninite breaks down into um, iron, aluminum, uranium, iridium, and super alloy, and also dolomite. So, we can reuse this dolomite to break it down further. As you can see, it's quite a big mining operation now. We'll also need some cobalt, I guess titanium. And you need to empty that and those machines more frequently. All right, this is now looking like it was supposed to look. And we might as well... Mm, I'm not going to delete these four compartments. I'm thinking about placing um, the biolab as soon as it becomes available. But I'm going to place the um, one big living compartment. Where's my super alloy? I used to have it somewhere. I'm not sure where. Maybe I used it up. Oh well. Let's take some from here. This is going to be our chilling quarters up there. And I might, I might as well expand this corridor further and again there is not enough iron we can at least do this for now we'll resume this later i don't want to waste any more time I'll just empty those machines and I think we can resume some exploration or something. Perhaps even we can create the um, nuclear reactor. We have everything that we need at this point. And don't worry about compressing these iridium rods. The process is reversible through that deconstruction machine. Not that we have it at this, at this point, but it's not uh, an issue. Um, what was I thinking? Yes. We have just enough super alloy to create one nuclear reactor, but it's going to skyrocket our production power production we won't be needing any more of those solar thingies pretty much soon so we need a few water which we don't have at this point but we don't need to go back to get some ice anymore because there's quite a lot of water in this atmospheric collector. Enough to drink, enough for any other kind of use. Even though it's not raining, it still produces water. Now let's go nuclear. And we won't be having any much, any more, I think, power 
troubles. Let's see our power production up there. All right, we have, we are producing uh, 476 kilowatts, and we're consuming 366. It's still not as dramatic as I hoped, but it's something. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, while I was redoing the rooms another recipe popped up it's quite a interesting thing it's a sign so we'll place those here storage storage oh, and from this side Then we might as well... This is temporary room. We'll remove it soon enough. Or use it for something else. This here, of course, is the exit. This is going to be a biolab, but let's go upstairs for now. Here, we'll name this command. Okay, and we'll name this one. Living Quarters. We can also name this one, even though it's obvious. Biodome. We might have more of those later. Let's see. Are things going here? Alright, it's not saturated. Am I seeing things? No, I I thought this was the um and it happens later. This was the uh, meteor that brought us more uranium because we somehow weirdly overlapping each other. But no, it's the um nuclear reactor. Alright, now this base is much more functional. Might as well do a save. Alright, and let's see. Maybe, just maybe, we have enough. We don't have enough super alloy. Hmm. I'm starting to like this uraninite. And we do not have enough of that. So, I would like to get some more. Well, there's one lost crate. Nothing too special. I'm not gonna even waste space on this low level stuff. Maybe this tree seed. We get lots of advanced flower seeds. But the tree seeds, we do not have enough. And we'll soon be launching rockets each of those requires one tree seed I'm starting to think we can even somehow ascend those rock formations or perhaps descend from the upper level No. They used to hide some golden crates in such spots, so I'm curious. The golden crates, of course, contain some special stuff well there is one hidden but this one is not golden 
and it doesn't hold anything particularly fun. I mean, super alloy is fun at this point, but... It might not be later. Let's scout this. As long as we're here. And that's the same one. Nothing too fancy here. But let's resume the primary mission. I'm starting to think we're missing something here. This whole volcano looks like it has greater purpose than just holding these resources, but I might be wrong. And we're back to that. Opening on the other side. I might as well build a small, small, small outpost right here, provided we can find some resources to do so. And we can't. We would need three iron two titanium and one silicon. And nothing like that can be found here. I mean, there is some... something that builds towards it. But unless I can find some more, I might as well rush back home in order not to die. I need just two more iron. Perhaps it's possible. Just one more iron. It's all titanium. die of thirst anyways I hope we'll respawn here I'm not sure where to place this thing well might as well do it here should have done such things sooner You actually need these small outposts. Um, let's see. Oh, the first big wreckage. Let's see, what do we need to build this atmospheric collector? We need cobalt. And it's just the kind of thing that can't be found here. Mm. It's too much dark. I don't want to venture into that wreckage before. We die of thirst.
And just in case we die of thirst, I wanna... know the location at which we would die. So that we do not lose this valuable resources. Let's place this. I mean, we might as well move the base a bit further. We'll do that, but let's wait and die here first. Perhaps we can play with faith a bit. Sorry, fate. And now we shouldn't be playing anymore. All right. We've lost nothing so far. We can move this a bit further. We might soon die of hunger. There's some ice melting there. This looks like a nice spot. To even build the primary base. Alright, now if I can just find some iron. There is even uraninite here. I want to build a storage inside of the base, if you can call it a base, sorry. these materials. I want to investigate that wreckage. But first I wanted to build a beacon. So that we know our way home. Let's mine uraninite around here, perhaps find some more crates before we die, to hunger, maybe to thirst as well. I'm not sure if only we had cobalt here. Well, it's not impossible. We can even build one ore grinder here, but the bauxite is not available nearby. If I find some, that would be cool.
Hmm, there's one crate. And there's the cobalt. And there's the water. And let's create one atmospheric extractor. So that's iron. No, 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 we do not have aluminum. We'll get that soon enough. Alright, I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's go. Then investigate this wreckage. Wreckages are usually important. Oh wow, we can't even access this. This requires tier 2. The deconstruction chip, but... There is some stuff to be found. At the entrance. water since we have enough iron we can even Create four storage spaces here. Nah, me and my OCD. Crafting station wouldn't hurt. And perhaps another storage. Sort this out. Want to place the important stuff that is ready to go home here. Some less important stuff here. And some basic materials. Here and some crafted stuff here. All right. All right, we're gonna take a break here. If you like this episode, hit that like button down below, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.